In this video, I wanna talk about artificial intelligence model cards. Now, in a previous video, I talked about AI impact assessments, and I'm pretty sure in that video, I likened an impact assessment to a report card. And in a lot of cases, that's very true. That would be an apt analogy. We could say something somewhat similar for a model card. What a model card is, is a high level overview of a particular AI model, if we're looking at just one model, or a whole system. How a number of different models fit together, how they operate, how they were trained, and what their different use cases are in society. And so a model card is a short, transparent document that provides users and the public with the information that they need to know concerning the model's operations, what are its uh, biases, its limitations, what type of data was it trained on, et cetera. Model cards can also include performance metrics. And so if you're thinking about a family or a series of, of different popular models, such as ChatGPT or Claude, then a lot of the times those model cards are going to include details on how the latest and greatest model differs from its predecessors. And so what made ChatGPT 5 better than ChatGPT 4 or 3.5, for example? How have the models improved? What new emergent features are they exhibiting? And so as you might imagine, model cards are really important for AI governance because they provide governance professionals with the information they need to ask more specific questions about the models. What type of red teaming has been done? What type of errors or problems emerged during testing that the governance professional, that the organization as a whole needs to take into consideration? And one of the follow-up questions that a governance professional might ask uh, of their organization is whether or not other measures or controls need to be implemented to prevent risk to the organization and to the user base. And so if you're preparing for the artificial intelligence governance professional exam, you absolutely need to know what a model card is. You need to know why it's important for AI governance. And you probably need to know some of the major categories of information that you're gonna find in model cards. A final recommendation, there's nothing like actual experience to help these concepts really sink in. Go to your search engine of choice and look up ChatGPT model card or Claude model card or Llama model card. And a lot of this is publicly available. You'll be able to download it. The language of these model cards is not particularly dense or technical. It's pretty easy to read through and it'll give you some good firsthand experience for what to expect when you're reviewing this on the job.